What is up everybody, the gamer musician here on RMFH's channel again. And guess what? Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch has just been confirmed. We've so far already had a confirmation that both Inklings from Splatoon and Breath of the Wild Link will be in the game. But what about some other possible characters that haven't been announced yet? Well, there's a lot of characters that would be fantastic in Smash Bros. So, let's go over five of our favorite possibilities. Shovel Knight is one of the characters that seemingly was very high up in the polling for the Smash Ballad during Smash 4, and for a good reason. Shovel Knight is a fantastic game, and it really fits in well with a lot of the other Nintendo games, despite not technically being a Nintendo exclusive. However, the developer, Yacht Club Games, appears to have been working quite heavily with Nintendo, to the point where a number of Shovel Knight characters, including Shovel Knight himself, have been made into amiibo figures, and were among the first set of non-first party characters to receive this treatment. I honestly think that Shovel Knight could follow one of two routes in Smash Bros. Either he could get the route of a full moveset based on the shovel and his unique treasures and abilities in the game, or perhaps he could go for the route of being a representative for the entire game, taking skills from all of the bosses who are now DLC characters. Both of these methods would make for an exciting character, and one who would fit into Smash Bros very well. Now, I never thought I'd be saying this in my entire life, but I could definitely see Crash as a potential character in the new Smash Bros game. Crash Bandicoot, despite supposedly being a staple of the Sony brand, has technically had a number of games on a load of different systems, especially Nintendo. The first Crash Bandicoot game I ever played, Entranced, was for the GBA. Just before the announcement for Smash for Switch, we also got the announcement that Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is going to be coming to the Switch. This was quite a shock for many people, since this remake was seen to be a celebration of the original trilogy for the Sony PlayStation. I mean, come on, this trilogy's advertising literally involved a man dressed up as Crash Bandicoot outside of the Nintendo building laughing at them. And your worst nightmare has arrived. Pack up your stuff. I got a little surprise for you here. Check it out. What do you think about that? But if this remake bundle is going to be coming to the Switch, why not Crash for Smash? I mean, Crash Bandicoot is such an iconic character for a lot of gamers. Many gamers nowadays grew up on Crash at some point and he was one of the most defining characters of their childhoods. Imagine being able to have Mario, Sonic, Cloud, and Crash all together at the same time in Smash Brothers. All we need now is to add, um, Master Chief? Kingdom Hearts is another genre-defining game with loads of fans everywhere. I vividly remember during the Smash Ballad for the Wii U game, and the crazy amounts of hype for hashtag Sora for Smash. This stuff is insane, and though it didn't end up coming to fruition, we did end up with Cloud, which really just proves that Square Enix has no problems putting their games in Smash. Well, more specifically, Square Enix has no problem putting Tetsuya Nomura's characters into Smash. Nomura not only designed Cloud, and the rest of the party in Final Fantasy VII, but is also the lead director for the entire Kingdom Hearts series. In fact, right now, Nomura is currently directing two games concurrently, the Final Fantasy VII Remake and Kingdom Hearts 3. And while the last couple of games in the Kingdom Hearts series have not been Nintendo games, and there's still no word on Kingdom Hearts 3 for the Switch, Nintendo has been home to four games in the series. So why not give people what they want? Hashtag Sora for Smash. Now, Neku Sakuraba is a character that people have been clamoring for since the game's release all the way back in 2008. And despite the fan requests, Neku has not yet appeared in a Smash Bros game. However, that might change soon. After all, the world ends with you, final remix, 
is coming to the Nintendo Switch sometime this year. And what better way to advertise for the game than to put Neku into a Smash Brothers game? The World Ends With You is a series that's almost exclusively found itself on Nintendo consoles anyway. Sure there was a phone port, but beyond that, the original game was a DS game, and some of the characters showed up in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, which, for almost 5 years until it was ported, was a 3DS game. Plus, Neku would have an outstanding selection of moves to go from. With his large amount of pins and other interesting abilities, it could really be interesting to see what he could do. Imagine watching him use his fire and icicle pins as his Sidon down B, and then perhaps his psychokinesis pins. Honestly, Sakurai would have so much to work with for this character that Neku would be an amazing addition to a Smash roster. Now this should not come as a shock to any of you, but the popularity of Xenoblade 2 is something that cannot be overstated. As one of the first announced games for the Switch, it really should be a no-brainer that there will be a character in Smash Bros. In some sense, it'll almost be a full loop. The first Xenoblade game, despite already having niche popularity, got a huge popularity boost when Shulk was added into Smash 4. So, including a character from Xenoblade 2 into the next Smash game would be really nice. But in terms of who would be the true face of the game to put into Smash 4, it would really come down to three people. Well, one person and two blades. Rex, Pyra and Mithra were honestly the three faces of the game prior to its release. And honestly, they probably play the biggest roles in the game too. And while Rex is cool and all, Pyra and Mithra were definitely the fan favourites, so it would make a lot of sense to include them. However, I don't see Sakurai adding two more Xenoblade characters to the roster. No, I see it more likely they'll be adding one spot which Pyra and Mithra will share. Perhaps they'll just be separate skins of each other, or perhaps it'll be a Zelda Sheik kind of thing where they can swap back and forth. Honestly, Knowing our boy Sakurai, it could really go either way. However, I honestly really truly do see this Aegis Blade being incredibly likely to join the next Smash Brothers. Hey, and that is the end of the video. Did you agree with us? Who do you want to be in the game? Any others we missed? Think that Smash Brothers actually needs every character from Toho Project in the next game? Leave it in the comments, let us know. We would love to hear it. And as always, remember to subscribe to the channel for more news, theories, and countdown lists just like this one. And again, thanks for stopping by the channel, it's much appreciated. Anyway though, until the next video, I hope you have a fantastic day, peace out.